Hello everybody, this is Gamer0Z1, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, pretty much uh, load uh, payloads from your phone. First of all, you have to install this app, and I will include this in the description. And the payload, where do you get the payload from? Just download, click open file, click install, package, and right there it's installing. Give it a second. Then after that's done, go to the home screen, go open up your internet browser again. And this is where I've been, you know, downloading my test payloads technically. Um, just click right here. And then you click here for the actual the actual build of it. Save it saves as fuse bin. And then go back to your home screen, open up where your apps are at, and NX Loader will be right there. Just click it, click the config, select your payload right here. I actually have downloaded it twice, so you can see. Now it'll pop up in here. As you can see, it's been selected. And now get the Nintendo Switch into RCM mode. I don't know if it's on or not. Probably not. We'll find out. Okay, it is now in RCM mode. Give me one second to uh, plug in my little adapter here that was actually included with my uh, Samsung. Just plug it right in. Well, yeah, there we go. There we go. It's plugged in, as you can see. Then right here, plug that right into the Nintendo Switch. And as you can see, it's been seen. As soon as I click OK, it'll pop up. Just click OK. Boom. It worked. That's how it's done. Just download it from that website. It's pretty simple. And that's pretty much how all the payloads are going to work as of now. Um, now for a little update. Um, the reason why I haven't uh, moved forward with it yet by installing Linux and stuff is because right now Linux is very unstable. Um, it'll cause battery problems and it actually could blow up your screen. Because right now they need to uh, fix the uh, wattage, pretty much. Right now they it it doesn't uh, you know use the correct amount of power it's supposed to use yet, and it causes problems for the Nintendo Switch. They need to create a custom kernel for Linux to load onto the Nintendo Switch. Right now it's just not there. They need to fix it, and it just causes too many problems and. Uh, I don't recommend to do it right now. If you want to do it, it's up to you. But I don't recommend it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope it was helpful. And yeah, have a good day.